Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yayo Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. I would like for you to join me in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 15, starting at verse 1. 2 Chronicles, chapter 15, starting at verse 1. Hallelujah. And the spirit of Elohim came upon Asariah, the son of Oded. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah, and Benjamin, and Benjamin, and Jehovah is with you, while you be with him. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now for a long season, Israel has been without the true Elohim, and without a teaching priest, and without Torah. But when they in their troubles did turn unto Yehoah, Elohim of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. And in those times there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in, but great vexation, vexation whereupon all the inhabitants of the countries and nations was destroyed of nation and city of city. For Elohim did vex them with all adversity. Be strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecies of Oded, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim and renew the altar of Yehoah that was before the porch of Yehoah. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and the strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon, for they fell to him out of Israel in abundance. And when they saw that Yehoah, his Elohim, was with him, so they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month of the 15th, year of the reign of Asa, and they offered unto Yehoah the same time of the spoil which they had brought, seven hundred oxen and seven thousand sheep. And they entered into a covenant to seek Yehoah, Elohim of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever will not seek Yehoah, Elohim of Israel, should be put to death whether small or great, whether man or woman. And they swore unto Yehovah with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornels. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with all their whole desire. And he was found of them, and Yehovah gave them rest around about hallelujah now i want to go back to verse 12 now let's go to verse 3 then we're going to go to verse 8 and then we're going to go to verse 12 and then i will be closing 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 3. For a long season, Israel has been without the true Elohim, without the true God, without the true source, and without a teaching priest, and without law, without the Torah, without the righteous teachings and instructions of Yehovah. Israel had been a long time without this. So what was Israel with? They were with everything that is the total opposite of what's listed here. They was with idols. They had priests that didn't teach truth. And they were without instructions. They were without the Torah, the righteous instructions of Yah. We need to end the season now because too many of our people is just like what's listed here. Too many of our people. Let's go to verse 8. 
And when Asa heard these words and the prophecies of Odeh, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable, the abominable idols out of all their land. My people, some of you have idols. And some of you may be asking, I don't, I don't have no wooden idols, no stone idols in my house. You do. You have idols. You don't have the traditional idols that you may be thinking of or what they had. But you have an idol. You have an idol that can't be seen. Now, some of you are bold enough to have actual idols in your house. But most of our people have an idol that they're serving. Some of them might have a small little statue or figurine of them or have a portrait of them. But most of you have this idol in your mind, in your heart. He goes by another name. You give honor and praise to this idol. You give thanks and glory to this idol. And you do not give the praise, honor, and glory to Yehoah, the Holy One of Israel. You never utter his name. You utter a strange name. Verse 12. I feel verse 12 is the solution to our people, even the solution to what we're going through right now in this nation. And they entered into a covenant to seek Yehoah Elohim. Yehoah, the Elohim. Yehoah, the source, the power. The Elohim of their fathers with all their hearts and with all their soul. So if you're seeking your whole with all that you are, you don't have room to be seeking for another. Because it makes it perfectly clear. When you seek out your whole and you do it with a sincere heart, with all your desire, you will find your whole. Your whole never said, seek me. And find the Mashiach. He never says seek the Mashiach. And you will find me. It's perfectly clear right here. We are to seek Yehoah. With everything that makes us who we are. And my brothers and my sisters. If you do this. If I do this. If we continue to do this. Yehoah will be found of us. And Yehoah will turn our captivity. This is your brother Yael. Till next time. Peace.